welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elena and I create new makeup, beauty, and lifestyle videos every single week. And today's video is so exciting because instead of a normal test and review, I'm actually just gonna share a really affordable eyeshadow palette that I fell in love with. I actually debuted it like the first time that I ever bought it in my last Ulta haul, which is literally the video right before this. And I will link it down below anyways. But I absolutely fell in love with this palette. I've used it a few times now. I've worn it to work. I've worn it long hours. And I've had really good experience with it. It wears good. And it's really, really affordable. So I am going to be showing you guys a makeup tutorial. And I'm going to base it around my hooded eyes. So if you guys have a different eye shape than me, then go ahead and just, you know, make it yours. I'm trying new techniques because I have extremely hooded eyes. And I'm trying to make my eyes pop a little bit more so I'm trying different techniques but you do what works for you. I'm going to show you great color combinations and the reasons why I love this palette in this tutorial so if you guys have any interest in affordable makeup I've gotten a lot of requests to do a more natural neutral you know wear to work maybe wear out kind of thing like right down the middle so I figured this palette would be absolutely perfect. This is the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette and I first saw it when I went to Ulta and I walked in and and it was right to the left of me. They had a couple of these different little tiny palettes and they're only $14. If you guys have ever tried ColourPop before, I would almost compare it to a Morphe and like, I don't want to offend anybody, but it's not drugstore in my opinion, but it's also not super high end. It's affordable makeup. And I actually have used ColourPop in the past. I've just not used it too, too much. When I first ordered it, it was only available online, at least in the US in my under my understanding. Most stores near me carried it and I ordered two single shadows and some of their liquid lips when like matte liquid lipstick was really popular and I absolutely loved them. Everything was so affordable. I was living at home. I was on an extremely tight budget because I was not making like any money really. You know, I was making money for my part-time job. So it was really a good price point for me. And I know that, like my 18, 19 year old self now would have loved something like this. And I'm actually trying to get into more affordable makeup. I've gotten tons of requests for it and it's just something that I want to do so I didn't even look at the price when I was looking at this palette I looked at the color ranges if you guys are like me I really like warm shades but they also have tons of cool shades and this is just a pressed powder palette they have nine shades a couple glitters in there and then the rest matte I think if you guys have any interest in trying new affordable makeup, this might be a really good palette for you to pick up. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial, but if you guys like this video at all, be sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and sharing this video with a friend who might be looking for some affordable makeup, and check out my Instagram, because I'm probably gonna post a little preview, maybe a little photo of this eyeshadow look, so go ahead and check that out as well. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go in with a primer. I'm not gonna use an actual eyeshadow primer, I just use whatever concealer that I'm using, so so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Medium. I kind of transitioned away from Tarte Shape Tape just because I'm really into the Kylie concealer right now. But I figured that this might be a good, you know, kind of primer to use. First things first, I'm going to go in with the shade Bluffin, which is right here. And I'm going to use this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. It has a very fine tip. So I'm going to use that to carve out my eye shape. I have really hooded eyes. So I'm actually going to like follow the bone of my eye and not my crease with a really light shade and just kind of really work it in there. I'm going to follow that up with a shimmer. So I'm really focusing on kind of carving out a different kind of shape for my eye. Next I'm going to go in with the shade Wink Wink which is right there and I'm going to carve out the same spots. So you guys can probably see that that is very pigmented and it's super shiny. So you want to kind of go in light handed if you have Put it eyes and kind of just carve out where that bone is so that you can create a shape to place your eyeshadow really well. I'm going to follow it all the way to the end of my eye. I'm going to do the exact same for the other eye. Next, I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to use the shade Ah Natural right here. I'm going to take the shade Mugged Off, which is right here, and I'm just going to place it 
just dot it kind of just to deepen that orange that I just did and just really dot it in the outer corner. This you don't even almost have to place because the shades are so close that you can just place them and it kind of just deepens the orange. One of the reasons I love this palette so, so much is because the price, it's so affordable. It's $14. You can just get such a great payoff with this, just all these different shades. They're so versatile. You can create so many different looks and I feel like it's not very hard to create a really easy look. I feel like sometimes when you have too many shadows, you have too many options and it's really overwhelming. With this one, you can kind of just use whatever shadows you want and create all sorts of different looks, different versions. Next I'm going to take the JH33 brush and I'm going to go in with the shade The Coco which is right here and I'm just going to really deepen this this smoky eye now. And I'm trying to create a more natural smoky eye so I'm not trying to use shades that don't really that are going to like super pop but like sometimes orange I feel like is a safer smoky eye to do for me because it doesn't look as heavy almost. And I'm taking the shadows out over my eye bone because that is how you can see eyeshadow on me. I'm gonna go in with my Blendiful and I'm going to actually blend the powder off and it makes it so easy because it literally just wiped it off without me having to take a wet makeup wipe with all of my concealer off, try to match it all again. It actually like worked really, really well. So I am going to take this brush, which is just a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. It's a very flat head brush, and I'm going to try, I'm going to actually do, I said I'm going to do this Supernatural, and here I'm like, I want to put on this, which is Put On Airs, which is this super metallic, really glittery shade right here, and I'm actually just going to pat it onto the lid. I'm gonna keep it kind of underneath and just let the other shadow that we placed above my eye do the speaking. So I'm just gonna do like maybe one coat of this because it is really gold. And this is kind of like more of a going out look now. <laughs> it's an everyday look, but sometimes I feel like I'm just so extra that I can't help it. You know, I don't know if anyone can relate. And I'm definitely going to go in with a different brush and place more of that first shade, which was the Wink Wink shade right here. And I'm going to just place it just to kind of blend it with the gold right above the eye. And do the same over here so that it doesn't look like we forgot to put shadow on top of the eye. There we go. So we're, we're doing like a whole look. I just blended some of that put on air shadow that way it showed all the way up now is an exciting part because we get to do a quick little lower lash line smoky eye so I'm definitely gonna use the shade mugged off which is right here and I'm going to take this JH 39 brush which is a circular brush but it also is really compact so it's not going to get too messy and with me I do pull like my lid down a little bit and I'm just gonna take it just slightly over I'm not gonna take it all the way because I want to do a little bit more of a natural look so I'm just gonna take it like like maybe one quarter of the way on my lower lash line so that makes it look like I didn't forget to put shadow on my lower lash line but I'm also not putting it all the way over because that closes off my eye like a lot and then I'm gonna go in with the brush I use to apply the different glitters and I'm gonna lightly dust it just whatever excess glitter is on there I'm gonna lightly dust it on the bottom that way we don't have to go in with like a full brush of it but whatever's on there is just going to lightly dust around there and it kind of blends all of the different colors together. And then I do want to take a little bit of the shade Bluffin, which is this light shade right here. And I'm just going to take it into the inner corner of my eye to really brighten things up. And it looks super pretty. You don't always have to put a glitter. Sometimes you can put a matte lighter shade just to really wake up your eyes, especially if you're not going to do a, like a smokier eye on the bottom. I'm going to bring one more shade on the lower lash line, which is the Cocoa, which is a redder shade, just to kind of tie everything together. Next, I'm going to do the slightest bit of liner, just like really lightly across the lash line.
Next, I'm going to take my little dollar store eyelash curler that I love so very much and a little bit of Maybelline The Rocket. And I'm just going to curl my lashes off the slightest bit. I put on the tiniest bit of eyeliner, uh, the liquid eyeliner. If you saw, I messed up a little bit, so just don't mind that. I just, you know, made a little whoops, but it's fine. Nothing that a little eyeshadow and smudging cannot replace. I'm going to go in on the lower lash line, but I'm going to wait because I'm going to do my fake lashes first. Okay, so that's it for the eye look, and now I'm going to go in and do a quick lip with the Kylie Cosmetics Coconut Lip Liner. I'm going to top it with the Dolce De Leche. This is the cream lip. So I highly recommend getting this palette if you are looking for an affordable eyeshadow palette. Like I said, they're being sold at Ulta. I'm not sure if you could check them out online, but go ahead and try. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this palette. If you like it, what do you think of the ColourPop brand? Again, I've definitely tried their eyeshadows. I've tried their liquid lips. I really have loved all of them. I just never really dived into them because they were only online. But now that they're in store, I plan on getting a lot of different ColourPop products. That's all that I have for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below in the description box. If you don't, then that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Share this video with a friend who might find it interesting. And I will see you all soon again in my next video. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me. Cause I know then you'll see